It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with the announcement of the Drew Baldridge concert coming to Mulcahy's on March 7th. Tickets are available already at Mulcahy's website, moles.com. We're excited to welcome back Drew to Long Island. Absolutely. Yeah, good buddy of the station. A lot of hit songs and uh, going to be awesome. Uh, Hardy announced a new song and new tour. It's both are called Quit, and it goes back to a story in 2015 when Hardy was trying to make it in Nashville, and he was playing for tips at a bar, and someone wrote on a napkin, Quit, and put it in the tip jar. Oh, Yeah. Ouch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hasn't forgotten that one, so uh, he is selling at arenas now and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, Hardy and uh, Kip Moore will be opening for him on this tour. Uh, Sad news over the weekend, 99 years old Joyce Randolph from the Honeymooners passed away. Oh, 99, wow. Yeah, just uh, amazing. And Peter Crombie, who's better known as Crazy Joe Davola on the show Seinfeld, passed away as well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, mean Girls tops the box office. $32 million for the uh, the musical based on the Broadway Not bad. show. Not mm-hmm. bad at all. Uh, Candy, uh, we know how big uh, Top Gun and then Top Gun Maverick were. Uh, do you need a Top Gun 3 in your life? Uh, me? No. Mm. Uh, well, there is one in the works. It is happening. Oh, well, yeah. I don't need it. Yep, they're getting the uh, the band back together. All of them. Everybody from uh, Maverick. All right. All yeah. right. Did you ever watch the show? I think my parents uh, liked this one back in the day. Northern Exposure? Never. Not one episode. All right. Well, for the first time ever, it's streaming on Amazon Prime Video. All but right. Not for candy, I suppose. No, not for me. All right. How about Young Sheldon? You ever watch the spinoff Young Sheldon? I did. I did. It's, it was a very good show. Okay. Uh, by the way, my kids have gotten into it on Netflix. It's funny. It's a good show. Yeah. Um, so there's another spinoff in the works of Young Sheldon. Uh, this time uh, about the brother George and his fiance uh, Mandy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So we need all of that, really. I they're working on it. They're working all on right. the uh, the right. spinoff. Hmm. Uh, a couple more for you. Um, over the weekend, your winners were the Packers, Lions, Chiefs, and Texans. Did you watch any of the I games? I watched the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. I was shocked at how dominant <laughs> Green Bay was. I really was. Yeah, we all were. Absolutely. Um, they uh, they have a very young team. They're going to be around a while, the Green Bay I Packers. I mean, they dominated, no doubt. They did, and the Cowboys' uh, struggles uh, continued. By the way, side note on that Chiefs game. Remember, uh, and by the way, it became a national story, the whole uh, thing about streaming. I want to talk about that. Okay. Because between, I wanted to see the game. I'm not going to sign up for Peacock, okay? Mm -hmm. So I, my party ends, I go to sit down, it's 8 o'clock, and I'm flipping through the channels, and on NBC, the game is on. I said, oh, they must have smartened up. The game is on. I start watching, and they keep teasing every break. You're watching, you know, the game, and at 8.30, the game goes off. If you want to continue watching, you have to go to Peacock. Oh, okay, so hold on. Hold on, wait. That me so much. I, I gotta stop you for a second. Now, that is so wrong on so many so more wrong. levels. So they actually aired a couple of minutes of the game on yes. NBC to try to that get is you correct. To... Oh my God. I did and not And I'm realize. watching and I'm thinking, well, they came to their senses. Then I hear the announcers go, oh, if you're enjoying the game, we're showing it till 8.30 and then you have to switch to Peacock. That is and sure so... sure enough, wow. 8.30 comes and there's no game. That is atrocious on the part it of the NFL. It could really... Really, it angered me so. Didn't realize that took place. Now I have a quick note, and then we'll move on. Um, I so I 
forgot. It was about the fourth quarter. I was out anyway. I was at tennis, whatever. So I come home, and now it's like I'm, I'm doing other things. Now it's the fourth quarter, and I start flipping around TikTok, and I completely forgot to tell you this. Uh, you know, everybody streams everything on TikTok. People go live, right? And from the Taylor Swift tour, from anything, any major event, people are live everywhere. There's people live sailing around the world on a cruise ship now. They just like to show people what they're experiencing. Um, there were people streaming uh, the game, like basically putting their tablet up towards their television so you could see their stream of Peacock. And there were so many of them that it was impossible for TikTok to take them all down. So um, you could actually watch the game on somebody's oh, page on TikTok. Yeah. Didn't yeah. know that. Uh, so next time anything is streaming that you want to see, just go on TikTok and just search that event. And you will see hundreds of accounts streaming the event live. Uh, and then you're... You're all good, but I didn't... Very, very aggravating, and they yeah. better knock it off before I really start screaming. I, I didn't realize that till the fourth quarter, yeah. so I, I missed a few. Uh, and Okay, last thing. Tom Brady, you know, he uh, was drafted uh, before he played college football. He was drafted by the Montreal Expos baseball team. Uh, his baseball card just sold for $158,000. And he said, hey, I didn't pay a lot for that. <laughs> Get just, the little joke. Yeah, just just incredible, incredible that somebody pulled that out of a pack and uh, and was able to auction that for 158. Okay, so uh, TV tonight: Bills Steelers play an afternoon game 4:30 on CBS. That was postponed because of the snow. The Bucks and Eagles play the uh, nightcap 8:15 on ESPN. America's Got Talent on NBC and Fox with the 75th. Emmys, and there you have it, your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Going to be sunny but cold, high of only 33. Overnight, it looks like we're going to get some snow changing to rain. Don't know how much or what it's going to turn to in different areas, uh, but we are going to get some precipitation overnight. You're going to wake up to uh, something. Could be snow changing to rain on uh, Tuesday morning. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.